Yo, what's up, Tarnish? It's your boy, Harvey. We're back with another video. In today's video, we're basically going to be doing a video on... Why I look like that? What's, what's going on? Yeah, no, nah, yeah, it, was, it was messing with the, the color. What? Alright, it's whatever. I don't care. Um, But... In this video, we're basically going to be doing a starter guide for Grand Kaizen. You know, I'll just get straight into it, though. You know what I'm saying? Hey. If you're new to this channel, make sure you leave a like, comment, subscribe. Every, like, I'm, when I'm saying I'm about to be on point, bro, every game you see me post about, you will know everything about it. If you don't know something about it, comment it down below and I will make a video. Every video that you see on my channel has been chosen by y'all and I appreciate it because I do listen to my supporters and my people, the, the people that follow me and subscribe. We're going to roll to 4,000 subscribers. Let's make it happen and, you know. Let's get started. So the first thing is we in the starter menu here, right? So I'm just gonna explain it real quick. Let me slide myself up. Um, so the starter menu, we got rank, we got private servers, we got play, which is you know just regular play, we got character customizations, we got join friends, and this is the private server. You generate your private server code here. This will be changed, so don't go ahead and I mean I don't know if it's gonna still say, but I'm gonna change it because I do like to uh, grind by myself. And then I do have a leveling guide video. Cause I've only played for I think three hours or two hours and I'm already level 29 and I'm already level 29 so let's get into this though all right so right here you get customizations primary secondary eyes mouth shirts but you already know the gist and then character one I'm assuming that they're gonna have multiple characters in the game like multiple um you're gonna be able to um you come over here you spin if you didn't know you spin then you have the rarities you have the rarities is 0 0.5 then you have the king curses limitless disasters flames curse speech and then so there's currently four abilities in game that you could well five that you can get i had king of curses and spun off i'm gonna try to get it again you know because i prefer to have the king of curses because one of my friends already have limitless but that's besides the point of the video let's get straight into it though so the one thing I don't like is I can't I can't copy. I can't copy and paste the code. So I gotta type it in every single time. That's so man, I look at that. I'm messing that up too. My fingers, man. My fingers be too big. Alright, that should work. Invalid? What? This one, that's what I type. Am I am I am I bugging? What's going on here? I could skip this part, guys. You feel me? But yeah, if you haven't, though, I have my Discord down below. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. Obviously, we'll be posting more videos on this game. Especially, like, how I got to level 29. And how I have all my, damn near all my techniques already. And, like, less than, not even less, like, three in three hours. I can give y'all my secret to how I'm doing it. You know what I'm saying? But get straight into it. So, I'm going to go to the starting area. Right now, I'm in Jujutsu High. You know. So, I'm going to go to the starting area. But you have your base combat, and then you have your weapons. Weapons, you can you can get them from drops. You can get them from quests. I said drops from quests. Oh, my God. You can get them from... All right. And I like the teleporting system too. Like as y'all can see, it just flips the map around, and then like I'm automatically here. Let me just slide this back down, so I don't forget it. So I don't forget it. Um, yeah. Once you can, once you get in the game, you spawn here. So the first quest is located on the side over there, and these these guys are um, for you to set your spawn point. All right. So if you see it empty like this and it has no flames inside of it, that means you cannot set your spawn point. And another problem that I heard a lot of people been having is you can't um you can't like use your like you can't click on that. Yo, bro, whenever you see this open, unequip. You have to unequip whatever like weapon or item you're using. So hopefully this was helpful and it helps you. But you have to unequip whatever you have equipped here. All right, so that's why it's not working. It's not the game that's bugged. You just gotta unclip that. All right, first quest is here. You gotta do this quest until you're like level ten. And once you're level ten, right? You done beat beat this guy up, level ten. 
your first um at, you get your first weapon at level five so where you locate this weapon is over here i got y'all right now first weapon level five and then this is the weapon shop so you can come in here you can buy some of these weapons like hold on sometimes you you won't be able to click e you just want to back up a little bit and like return you know yeah i'll just go ahead and buy these like this weapon's a level 10 level 5 and level 5 so once you hit level 5 and you hit level 10 you can come back and grab this weapon right here if you're trying to collect weapons and you want to be like a you know you could use weapons um in this game you do not you do not need like stats for weapons and stuff which is pretty cool i like that so you don't have to like focus on like one thing or the other or like have to give up any stats you can and, and you can honestly fight with your hands bro like it's it's not bad at all i'm uh, sorry i'm a little sick because it's cold but yeah and you got another spawn point over here so make sure y'all put your spawn point here because when y'all hit level 10 y'all gotta fight these honestly they look funny as hell i was weak me and my friends were like me and my friends were laughing like od od bro look at these guys <laughs> look at these guys oh my god you know i'm getting folded right now you feel me but yeah i'm gonna do a gojo showcase i'm gonna do a gojo showcase like later on but as you can see i, I was using i just used one of the most you know just a little just a little teaser it's a little teaser for the for the showcase which i'm working on right now you know what i mean how to piece them up real quick All right, but yeah, you come here, you pick up this quest, you gotta kill three of these guys until you're level 15. And once you're level 15, you feel me? You wanna get up here, level 15. You wanna kill him until until you're level 20. And then once you're level 20, right, you, you kill him. He drops his sword also. So if you wanna get his sword, you can get his sword. He drops his sword. So once you hit level 20, you just wanna go, you just wanna come this way. You wanna go straight down. And don't forget that you have to set your spawn points close, bro, because they be they be as soon as you die you teleport very far like super far and you heal very slowly so you got to keep those things in mind you set your spawn point right here and then you continue to go on right bada beep bada boom and currently i don't know what the max level is but i'm gonna do a part two i'm gonna do a part two to this leveling guy but i just want everybody to understand the basis of the game which is getting to like level 29, 30. Like these things, like they're, they're they're pretty easy. But I've been doing this quest right here, which is level 20. I've done this quest till level 29. But I'm assuming you should be able to find another quest at 25 or 30. But yeah, but that quest gives a lot of XP though. It gives a lot of XP. So you can, you can do it for a while. And then if you continue to go straight, you can find the boss. His name is Toji. I don't know if he has any drops, you know? I don't know if he has any drops, but if you go straight up this mountain, and after we get to Toji, that's where I'm going to be ending off the video. And then we'll do a part two, because this video is going to be too long if I try to show you everything in just one video. I'm trying to keep the video nice, short, and compact, and, you know, information savvy. This this, this, um, this area right here is useless. You don't, it, There's nothing in this area. I've already checked. I scouted, I scouted that whole area. There's nothing there. But yeah, once you come over here, you find to find Toji. Toji has his little thing on his back, and he also has a blade in his um the, his his sword. Not 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 the heavenly one, but one of them. You know, he probably drops it. I don't know. If you want to sit here and farm him and see if he drops it, he's actually pretty easy to kill. But yeah, leave a like, comment, subscribe. I'm gonna catch you on the next video. And let me know in the comments down below if this video was helpful. If you learn something new, because I know when I first started, I couldn't, I didn't know what to do for like the first like, like 30 minutes of me playing the game. So I felt like I needed this information as much as I did. All right. Yeah. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. And if you haven't joined the discord, you can join the discord down below. I will be playing the game today also because I want to, you know, figure out more about it and learn more about it so I can help you out. Peace.